Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving system of linear equations. What is the purpose of this kind of topic? Ang purpose ito is for us to find the solution of a given system of linear equations. Actually, there are three different methods na pag-aaralan natin on how to solve system of linear equations. First is yung graphical method, yung graphing method na gagawin natin today. Second is yung tinatawag natin substitution method. And the last one is yung tinatawag natin elimination method. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So I have your example, number one. Given the system, we are asked to find the solution of the given system of linear equation by graphing method. So we have the system or the equations negative 2x plus y is equal to 2. This will serve as your equation number 1. And the second one, the important system natin, we have negative x plus y is equal to negative 1. This will serve as your equation number 2. So by the way, since our target here, or the method na gagamitin natin, is by graphing. Ang mapapay ko lang sa inyo is for you to know or to watch our video about graphing linear equations in two variables. So, start na tayo. So, how are we gonna solve this given system by graphing? First, ang kailangan mo lang naman is to convert the given equations into slope-intercept form. Remember, if, kung matatandaan nyo, you have y is equal to mx plus b. Again, maraming ways kung paano i-graph ang linear equation. Pero, ito kasi yung pinakamadaling mga advice ko sa inyo. Is to convert those equations or to rewrite those equations into slope-intercept form. Bakit? Dito kasi, kitang-kita mo na agad kung ano yung value ng iyong y-intercept at the same time, the value of your slope. So let's start with number 1, or equation number 1. We have negative 2x plus y is equal to 2. To convert this into this form, ang gabi mo naman is to transpose negative 2x. Sir, bakit? Because we need to isolate the variable y. Katulad ng sa form na to. So transpose mo lang si negative 2x to the, to the other side, to, side of the equation. And then from negative, it will become positive. Remember, ha, when you're transposing a term sa isang equation, nagbabago ang sign niya. So the remaining term sa left side is yung y. Kasi nilipat na natin si negative 2x. And then it will become is equal to 2x plus 2. Ayan yung nangyari. So again, yung negative 2x plus y natin is equal to 2 ay na-convert natin bilang y is equal to 2x plus 2. So, since ito na yung kanyang form, you can easily identify the value of m and the value of your b. Your slope m is equal to 2. And then for your y-intercept, that is 2. Okay? Now, let's move on with the next equation you have negative x plus y is equal to negative 1. So following this pattern, all you need to do is transpose negative x to the other side of the equation. And your new equation is y is equal to x minus 1. This is your slope-intercept form. And then you can easily identify the value of m, which is dito, 1 yung m mo. m is equal to 1. And then your y-intercept is equal to negative 1. Ngayon, sir, paano ngayon yan? How are we gonna graph those given equations kung meron ka slope and y-intercept? Remember, we have discussed how to, to graph linear equation kapag meron kang slope sa y-intercept. Sir, paano? So let me show you the way. So I have your Cartesian plane. So for the first equation, to graph the first equation, negative 2x plus y is equal to 2. Ang nagawin mo lang naman is to use first your y-intercept. Remember, 
kapag meron kang y-intercept, the value of your x-coordinate is 0. Automatic, the coordinates of this one is 0, 2. Okay? And then, i-plot mo lang yan. So, you have 0, 2. Along the y-axis lang naman yan. So, this is the location of 0, 2. Okay? And then, sir, how about the next point? Using your slope, which is 2, you can put something here in your denominator as invisible 1 or 1. So, meron ka na ngayon pwede magamit for the rise over run. Ang rise natin is equal to 1. Is equal to 2, sorry. This is your rise. So, mag-move ka. 1, 2. Ulitin ko lang. Yung ating rise is equal to 2. So, you have 1 and 2. Tapos yung run mo, since your run is positive, so ang movement mo ngayon ay papunta sa right side. And then, yeah. This is your second point. Again, pakita ko lang ulit sa inyo ha. Sir, paano din nangyari yan? Using your rise, which is 2. 1, 2. And then yung run mo is 1. 1 unit to the right. So this is your second point. So, kung meron ka ng second point, you can draw a line or straight line. Mula rito. Para maging graph ng ating equation. Okay? Extend lang natin ito. This is the graph of negative 2 x plus y is equal to 2. Mabuti na ganyan nyo rin ang label. Followed by your second equation, ang kanyang y-intercept is negative 1. Ibig sabihin nyo, ang kanyang coordinates ay 0 and negative 1. So, nandito siya. Ito yung negative 1 for sure. Wala nang nakalagay. So, dito yung ating 0, negative 1. At yung inyong slope is 1. Meron na ganun natin ng denominator ng 1. Para meron tayong magamit for the rise over run. So, if your rise is equal to 1, mag-move tayo ng isang unit pataas. Tapos, yung run mo is, equal to, is also equal to 1. So, ang movement mo ngayon ay papunta sa right ng 1 unit. So, this is your second point. Again, ulitin ko lang ha, para masabit maging clear sa atin. From your 0, negative 1, ang rise mo is equal to 1. Therefore, mag-move ka ng 1 unit up. Ang run mo is equal to 1. Therefore, mag-move ka ng 1 unit to the right. This is your second point. So, given those points, we can graph it. So, graph natin yung atin line. Connect natin the wrong points. Extend natin. Okay. So, erase ko lang to. And then, this is the graph of negative x plus y is equal to negative 1. Ngayon, sir, uh, what is the solution? Diba sabi kasi find the solution. Ito, find the solution of the given system of linear equation. The solution for the given system ay yung intersection, gamit yung graphical method eh, ay yung intersection or kung saan nag-cross yung dalawang line. And this is their point of intersection. So we can say that their point of intersection is negative 3, comma, negative 4. This is, ito yun, ah. Negative 3, negative 4. So... The solution of the given system is negative 3, negative 4. In other words, the value of x is equal to negative 3 or the value of y is negative 4. That's it. So again, we've done that. If you're doing graphical method, 
much better to convert your equation into slope-intercept form, know the value of your slope and y-intercept, and then graph the two equations. Then, if meron silang intersection, intersection automatic, that is their solution. Or, auto, or meron na silang iisang solution. So I hope na sa ating examples ay natutunan nyo yung way on how to solve system of linear equations by graphical method or by graphing. Again, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe at ihit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa mga future uploads. I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!